The QSMP has started, and it's been about a week since the first streams, so let's take a look at the ongoing story and lore on the server. On day one, everyone joined the server and introduced themselves to each other, before being put into a cutscene. The cutscene introduces us to Quesadilla Island, a perfect and majestic land that the members will be playing in. It contains a bunch of different biomes and villages, and sets up where the server will take place. After that, we hear an announcement saying that the next stop is Quesadilla Island, Island, and we see the members teleported inside a train. The server is divided into two different carts randomly, so the Spanish and English streamers are mixed together. The members talk to each other for a bit and start to get to know each other before cutting to another cutscene. And in this one, we're introduced to the start of the story. <laughs> what the hell is Destination Quesadilla Island. <gasps> oh shit! They silenced him. Oh shit! <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Arriving at Quesadilla. Is Donald Trump Quesadilla. on the? <laughs> <laughs> We see the train head to Quesadilla Island, and just before it arrives, a massive wall splits the island in two, and it also splits the members. The members arrive at a train station, and to escape this station, they have to complete a somewhat simple puzzle. And whilst they try and figure out how to complete this puzzle, a timer is constantly going down. In the station, there is five different types of pressure plates. Wood, stone, gold, iron, and black stone. Each pressure plate must be activated in a specific order, except for wood. This order was gold, stone, iron, and blackstone. And from what I can tell, every member had to stand on a gold plate, then go off to a stone one, etc, etc. But this puzzle would end up being a lot more difficult than they thought. The timer kept on going down, and towards the end of it, they had sort of given up. Communication wasn't on point here. The timer reached zero, and a cutscene began to play, talking about how they failed. Oh fuck! Oh, oh, I can hear you. I'll, I'll, I'll just not say anything. We were not. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think we were at all. <laughs> pre-recorded. Pre-recorded. <laughs> Bro, I love Toon Town. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so sick. Quesadilla Island. Oh, oh shit. <gasps> oh shit. Toon <laughs> 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 36. Okay, okay, write that down. Write that down, Jaden. Please write that down. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. All right, we fucked up, we fucked up. During the cutscene, they are asked to do the duck a favor, restore power to the island. They're also given some coordinates and are brought back to the station, which now has an open door. Outside is a chest with two books and the wall dividing the server. They spend a bit of time shouting through the wall at the other group before reading the books. One book is in English and one book is in Spanish, and they both talk about how they can go about restoring power to the island. It says they need to collect 20 water wheel planks from the chest in the power shed and then to place the planks on the water wheel and click the center. So the members head off to the coordinates that they were given during the video, running past multiple buildings and eventually getting to the shed and retrieving the planks. They then take these planks to the water wheel and start the power to the island. Heading back to the train station, they all see a red beacon shining in the sky. Quackity tells everyone that they need to wait for the other side to complete the same task before the 
power boots back on. And all of a sudden, it changes from night to day, and another cutscene plays. Wait, do you guys see that red beacon? Over there? What is that? Wow. <laughs> wow. Despite someone breaking it, we have already completed our mission. So it's only up to the next, the people on the other side to complete the mission as well. I think we should all start gathering materials, okay? Uh, yeah, so let's let's start. No, okay, you can break it. Whatever. I don't give a Whoa. Whoa. Guys, guys, listen. listen. We did it. Press the E button. Press the E no, button. Open the no, no. Please. Right. The rule is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was like an actual jump scare. Holy shit! I don't know about this guy. What? Okay. What? Hello, Yeah, yeah, for favor. Yeah. Red button. Okay. What? 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 All right. Okay, Jesus Christ. Okay, Jesus. find the red button. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, crossing okay. the border, not allowed. Crossing the border, not allowed. What? They are told to never cross the wall. Never, ever cross the wall. And also, if they find a red button, never press it. Never, ever press it and then the tape ends so instantly they all tried to press the red button and cross the wall and after gathering a few materials together and climbing up the vines of the wall someone presses the button and the wall explodes what is that noise what is that what is that did they press it Oh shit! Oh, 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 They are now stuck here. They're never allowed to leave Quesadilla Island, so they're told to make themselves comfy, build a home, and enjoy the place. Each side of the wall can now meet up and talk to each other, in which they instantly start beating each other up and killing each other. After all this though, the members go off into their separate groups and start to build houses and explore the server, just really getting comfortable with it all. With that said, if you're starting to get into the QSMP, check out this video on screen where I talk about every QSMP member. It's a great way to understand who everyone is.